diving back into action, understanding, return to the fray. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the English language and unravel its many mysteries. Today, we're exploring a fascinating phrase, return to the fray. If you've ever wondered what it means to return to the fray, you're in the right place. Let's unravel its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversations. Return to the fray is a phrase that paints a vivid picture. The word fray refers to a dispute, battle, or heated competition. So, when someone returns to the fray, they are jumping back into the action, dispute, or challenge they were previously involved in or had taken a break from. It's about re-entering a situation that is challenging or competitive. The phrase has its roots in the old French word, affrayer, meaning to disturb or frighten. Over time, fray came to be associated with the chaos and tumult of battle. The idea of returning to such a scenario emphasizes determination, resilience, and the courage to face challenges head on. Let's look at how to use this phrase in real life contexts. After a year long sabbatical, the CEO announced his decision to return to the fray of the corporate world. Following her recovery from an injury, the athlete is ready to return to the fray and compete at the highest level again. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various situations, from business to sports, highlighting the universal nature of facing and overcoming challenges. Understanding synonyms can broaden your vocabulary and give you alternative ways to express the same idea. Here are a few. Rejoin the battle, jump back into the mix, dive back into action. Each of these alternatives carries a similar meaning but allows for variation in expression depending on the context and tone you wish to convey. Return to the fray is a powerful expression that encapsulates the human spirit's resilience and determination. Whether it's in personal challenges, professional disputes, or competitive sports, this phrase reminds us of the courage it takes to face obstacles head on. We hope this exploration has shed light on its meaning and usage, and you feel more confident using it in your conversations. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep learning and exploring the richness of the English language.